ba dum bum Nail, nail time. Uh. Hello, my nail people. It is the nail mail time. So I got another package from Anyology. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> like that never happens. I'm guessing this is my May Express bundle, so I bet. Oh, 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 yes, that's what it is. I think that's the only thing in there. Yes, yes, it is. So let us let us check it out. So you know, you guys know I get the Express one. I don't get the stamping colors because y'all, I got mad colors. I mean, I should probably get some more, but <laughs> I got mad colors. Oh my gosh, what's in here? What's in here? Everybody else has their, I, because I live in Germany, I always get mine so so much later than everybody else's. Okay, so I think there's supposed to be something special in here too. So like two plates and then something special or different. Yay, my squishy pineapple. Thanks, Maniology. Um, The stamping guide, <clears throat> the traditional stamping guide. Yes, I'm super excited about these. We're gonna do something with these today. Oh, show y'all. So this is MXM031, and just different kind of wavy designs on here. How pretty, I like it, I like it a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna do something with that one. I'm probably gonna do something with a marbling plate. So this is like a marbling plate. And this is MXM032. Oh yeah, baby. I see some things happening here for show, for show. Okay, so that's probably what I'm going to be playing with a little bit later. And then, oh, this is interesting. The water slide decals. So I've done um, decals, water decals before. It's not my favorite thing to do, but I tell you what I don't, I don't love is foils. So this could be interesting to check out, but not today. So I've already put a um, an older BMC, now Maniology, color down. This one is called Something New. And um, I just wanted a background because I knew I wanted to do a big stamp. So this one is calling my name. So I think maybe, I think maybe I ought to do something with that. Yeah, let me get everything set up for you. Quickly, I forgot to mention that they put the card inside, the splashing around manicure tutorial card. And um, they just give you an idea of what you can do with this particular set of plates. So, yeah, we already, I already have an idea, y'all. I got an idea, let's go okay, with it. Okay, so maybe some of you know me by now, but you know, when I start out thinking about a manicure, I really have no idea where it's gonna end up. So, so I pulled a couple of colors that I love and that I thought I could use with the current color that I'm wearing. Um, I think I want this to be the main color. I love this and I think it's gonna look great with this. So, um, that one is Wolfish from Maniology. This one is uh, So Metal from Maniology. It's an old BMC color. This one is a Maniology and it's frozen. And finally we have Gray Joy, a nice gray. So I think, I think I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel the, the plate backing off of this one. I just did my nails y'all, so I don't know if I'm gonna get, be able to get it out of there. Um, so I'm gonna peel the backing off and <clears throat> I think my main stamp that I wanna do is gonna be this color and I'll do that on probably most, if not all the nails. But then I also wanna do some reverse stamping with that particular one. What, good knit, oh man. Y'all, these longer nails are killing me because I just can't, I don't, I'm not used to them so. <laughs> so I don't know how to deal with long nails, people. I don't know how you people do it. Typing, I can't, I can't, I can't send an email properly. It takes me like 10 minutes longer than it normally does. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm excited. I'm going to start with this color and let's just put a stamp on these two fingers for right now. Well, actually we'll do a stamp of just this color on the middle one and then we're going to do a reverse stamp on the accent nail and we'll put some of those colors in between here. So I think that's going to look real nice. Slack. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Wolfish. I just, I am drawn to this color. I have no idea why, but it speaks to my soul, y'all. It speaks to my soul. Oh, maybe, maybe I didn't do a good job with that one, so I think we should redo that stamp. So I got my sticky stamper station over here ready to go. 
but I didn't get everything else ready. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back with you. Now that I'm back with you, I'm going to clean this off, and we're going to do that one again. So once again, wolfish coming at you. Um, by the way, part of my problem was I was too aggressive with my <clears throat> scraper. I need to hold this less at a 45 degree angle and uh, a little bit more shallow than that. So I'm going to do it like this. Take that stand. Uh, oh, that was that was messy too. My God, people, what's wrong with me today? We're going to do it again, y'all. I ain't scared. You scared? I'm really picky about my stamps. So sometimes I got to do it like, we do it like four, five, ten, twenty times. Sometimes it's like that, y'all. Sometimes it, it's like that. Oh, yeah. That one's beauty, miss. And I don't know exactly how I want to put it on here yet. So let's wing it. Let's just do it. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 This is me saying, I like it. And I'm going to keep it. Yes. Yes, you guys. Look at that. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay, I'm probably going to clean up a little bit around here and extend this out with a little brush. Um, because I can. So I'm going to get me some... Oh, do I have some extra on my stamper that I could use? Perhaps I do. This is a trick that I use a lot. I will find some kind of edge. Like I'm going to use this one right here. Right, right there. I'm going to use the edge. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it'll catch on. Yeah, see, it doesn't really want to catch on. Probably because I've done it. Whatever. You know, so far this manicure is just not going the way that I wanted it to. That's all right, people. That's, we're just doing nails, y'all. So I'm just going to fill it in like that. No big. Easy peasy. Yep. Oh, goodness. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing on the dadgum screen. All right, fill it in like that, and then I'm going to go back in with a tiny little brush and some nail polish remover, and like I said, I'm super picky about my stamps. I probably should have just redid this one. This has this brush has nail polish remover on it right now, and I'm just going to clean up this line because I don't like it. Sometimes doing this makes it worse than when you started. We'll see if that's the case this time. Just a touch more, and I think I got it. Beep, beep, beep. Maybe that was too much. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay. That's not too bad. Y'all, I'm going to redo it. No, I don't know. Yes, I have to. It's who I am, people. I have to. So I'm going to grab my doohickey. You know what? I think I'm going to leave this in the video. And I'm just going to show you guys what what my thought process is. Sometimes I just do this. I I just like to um, show you guys exactly what it's like for me. Because I, pff, I'm in here and I'm playing. I could be in here forever playing. So, sometimes I don't get it quite right, and I'll do it 15 times before I like it. And what is wrong with my accent? Like, it is really popping out lately. I'm going to try to be normal, y'all, but I don't know that I can. I'm going to try. Try real hard, like. Okay. I like this one. This is happening. We're doing it. It's going to be great. My fingers are in the view. I'm going to make sure to roll it on. It's going to be perfect. Oh, yeah, that was much better. Sometimes, rather than fixing a mistake, it's just easier just to redo it. And that looks fan-freaking-tastic. I'm so happy about the way that turned out. Okay, well, I'm going to get another stamp like just like this on my stamper head and then we're gonna do some reverse stamping. So let me get that set up for you. Okay, so I went ahead and put the stamp on here and once again, 
I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. So I think out of the three colors that I picked, my So Metal and the gray color and the, the shimmery white, I know I want to do the shimmery white. <clears throat> Oof. Ooh, this is a tough decision. I want it to be BAM. So I'm going to go my BAM silver. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I also have my, my uh, Maniology brush, brush number 106. It's a detail brush. And that's going to be too small. I can see that already. So Let me get a better plan here, y'all. This is just some kind of generic brush that I have. I'll probably be using this one and then fill in with the 106 brush. So let's get started. Probably gonna fast forward this part so that you guys aren't too bored. Uh, once again, I don't, I don't really, I don't have a plan. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I do know that I want these two sections just like I have on my nail right now. I want these two sections. And somewhere in there I want some stuff. So yeah, let's make it happen. Okay, I'll probably fast forward a bit now. As you can see very shortly here, um, this big, fat, gigantic brush that I have started to use is just way too big for the job. So instead, I picked up that Maniology 106 detail brush that I showed you, and that's the brush that I'm going to use for the duration of the rest of the video. Um, and now you can see that I'm just kind of filling in these spaces that I wanted to be the creamy white color. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that you're going to see me turn it upside down right now, and that's so I can tell that everything has been covered. If there's any gaps, then I want to make sure to fill them in. I want them to be that creamy white color right next to that wolfish color. Oh, y'all, it's time to say a goodbye prayer. <laughs> This is one of my original Maniology colors. It was the, one of the first colors that I fell in love with, this So Metal, because it was such a bam, silvery white. And y'all, it's just too thick, and it's too, oh, I can't use it anymore. It's not coming out. Okay. <laughs> but, thank goodness I got three spares over there, so I'll go pick one of them up. <laughs> so, as you can see here, I've got the same color, So Metal. It says Maniology because, like I said, BMC um, is now called Maniology. So, let's fast forward and get this process started. So, while you're watching me fill in the So Metal sections of this, why don't we talk about that COVID situation, y'all? <laughs> um, I thought I would have more time to up my nail game during this quarantine at home time. And I really haven't had that. So, I mean, I hope y'all got to play with your nails more than I did. Yeah, maybe a little bit more than I did. So I let that sit and dry for um, a couple of minutes and while I cleaned off my mat, by the way, gotta have a good silicone mat y'all, just do it, just have one. And if you'll notice I was using my Maniology 106 brush, the detail brush the whole time. I didn't end up using a larger brush, even though it was larger space, I didn't need it. Anyway, uh, so this bad boy's been drying. You guys, I have tried Maniology's sticky base coat. I can't get the dadgum thing to work. I don't know. Um, if I've got a bad formula, if I'm not using it right, I don't know. It's either too smushy or it's not sticky at all. Anyway, my go-to has always been, so I don't know what's going to happen when I have to find another one of these, but it's the um, transfer solution, the foil glue from Essence, which I'm not sure if you can get it in America, but I get it at my local DM here in Germany. Uh, I use this one, and it is, um, it's always been very effective for me, so... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And, I mean, I could put some liquid latex down, but pff, that just takes all the fun out of cleaning everything later. That's to make sure I get over the whole nail. To make sure everything gets sticky and all the pieces get stuck down. Oh no, is that a... What is that on my nail? Well, it's too late now, y'all. I don't know what it is. Too late now. Okay. 
I, I just I always get so nervous at this particular point. <laughs> okay, I bet everything is nice and sticky. It only takes about 15, 30 seconds. And then um, we're going to line it up and hopefully it doesn't look like doo-doo, y'all. That's the ultimate goal, right? To have it not, not look like doo-doo. Okay, here we go. Sorry if y'all can't see. Oh, I wrinkled it. I wrinkled it. I know I did. Oh, but it still looks amazing, doesn't it? Well, hello, gorgeous. I kind of like you. I'm keeping you. Yes, I am. Okay, so this is really my fault. I probably made it too, um, I put too much of that so metal right there. And look, you can tell right here I did it too. So I've got to make a nice thinner layer in the, on my next reverse stamping. But anyway, I'm, I'm super pleased with the way this came out. It is wrinkled. I'm going to let it be. I'm okay with that. I'm going to see. I bet the top coat will kind of take care of it. It does look like it. maybe I want to add a little bit of um, the wolfish color right here to kind of round out that side. But other than that, look at that, y'all. Just look at it. I like it. So let me clean it up and then I will show you the finished product after I get a top coat. Well, here we have it after the top coat and a little bit of cuticle oil. A little bit of oil. This is our um, final product. So I'm a little disappointed that I wrinkled it, but I can live with it. And other than that, I don't think anybody's going to notice. And I am, I love it. I really like it. I like that it's only those two nails. Um, of course, knowing me, I'll probably go do something crazy to the other ones later on but for right now it's simple it's elegant and i love that the the reverse naming that i did i'm glad that it wasn't overboard it's just very subtle and it just uh i really like it anyway um people 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 it's that time to express yourself with maniology um if you would like 10 percent off of your order at maniology.com you're welcome to use my code groove mama to get 10 percent off of that order and if you'd like to follow me on instagram that would be at groove mama um and i would appreciate that i mean if you want to you could you could even subscribe and that could be like awesome you know and feel free to comment because i love it when you guys comment so um until we meet again people i hope you decorate every nail you got bye